In today's video, I'm gonna be launching a new print-on-demand store using Google's Nano Banana as the backbone to help me with the decision-making process, even going as far as to asking it, what should I theme the store? I specifically wanted to share, I asked it to help me make as much money as possible into the end of 2025 and told it that I'll be selling print-on-demand products. Now, I wanted to share the response with you because it's pretty interesting. That's an exciting venture. Print on demand is a great way to start an e-commerce business with minimal upfront investment. To ensure profitability into late 2025, we should focus on niches that have enduring appeal, potential for unique designs, and a target audience willing to purchase personalized or specialized items. Here's a few ideas. So they gave kind of categories. The first one's hyper niche hobbies and interests. Instead of broad categories, drill down into very specific passions. This allows for highly targeted marketing, and a deeper connection with your audience. Example, and I love the first one, vintage gaming enthusiasts. Think designs inspired by specific retro consoles like Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Atari, classic arcade games, and 8-bit aesthetics. You could create apparel, mugs, phone cases, even posters with clever references only true fans would understand. So I actually love that idea as a former gamer. I grew up, my parents, I think, put a Nintendo controller in my hand when I was like three years old, if not younger, like for real. So it's no, it's no wonder why I'm you know, addicted to computers, right? <laughs> Specific pet breeds, the second suggestion. Instead of just dog lovers, focus on golden retriever owners or sphinx cat owners. This allows for breed-specific humor, illustrations, and even personalized items with the breed's name. A couple more alternatives. Niche outdoor activities. Beyond general hiking, consider ultra light backpacking or competitive disc golfing or fly fishing for specific trout species. These communities often have a strong identity and desire to express their passion. And here's like one more, local lore and legends. Tap into unique stories, cryptids, or quirky traditions or of a particular region or state. This can create a very loyal local following. And what's funny is I've actually done some stuff along those lines myself. Uh, just had some fun with it, you know in the uh, paranormal, you know, esque and, and certain locations as well that you can kind of lean into. Uh, so I love these suggestions, but I decided to roll with the vintage gaming enthusiasts specifically. Now I'm not gonna go and infringe on Nintendo, Sega Genesis or Atari, but what I am gonna do is lean into the 8-bit aesthetic for my designs. Next, I'm gonna launch my Everbe store because I'm gonna use their AI, which you see is the first option here. So I'm gonna click create with AI and then get started now. Now I can give it details and it'll help design the website. So my site is themed after 8-bit vintage arcade games. And I'm gonna go ahead and let it get started. It's gonna work out things like the aesthetic of the site, potential names for the site. And of course we have the ability to change that after the fact, but I thought that was really cool. Now while this works, I'm going back to AI Studio here because I also told Google AI that I'm gonna go with the 8-bit vintage arcade theme. I actually told it up here, okay? And I said, help me come up with names. And it came up with a bunch. Pixelcade Emporium, the retro 8-bit shop, Level Up Legends, Arcade Alley Goods, Game Over Gear, <laughs> Insert Coin Collectibles, Joystick Junction, The Glitch Gallery, Press Start Prints, High Score Hughes, CRT Culture, CRTs for those old <laughs> monitors, or 8-Bit Bounty. Now it's got even a bunch more names, playful, punny names, modern edgy names, short and catchy names. Uh, I love that, level one, joystick, press start, glitch, arcade core, so many good ones. Okay, let's check back here with Everby Store. Their AI went ahead, wrote our, well, it came up with a shop name. It called it Pixel Quest, which I actually like that as well. So we didn't even need to go to Nano Banana, but I'm just showing you, we have so much AI to work with here that it's hard to go wrong. Uh, they went ahead and they added some Headings for us, Relive Gaming Magic, Nostalgic Adventures Await. Now the products aren't integrated yet. We still need to tie this to a Printify pop-up shop that I haven't created yet because we needed to name our shop first. So let's go over here to Printify. If you guys don't have an account, use my link below. It'll get you a free month of Printify Premium as well with the code so that you get the best pricing on fulfillment, which means more profit for you. Now here, I essentially in the top left corner went to add a new store. Okay, and then you have to select your sales channel. For this, we don't need to actually integrate with any public facing channels like Amazon or Etsy or Shopify. What we're gonna do is click Printify pop-up shop and then we're gonna go ahead and call it Pixel, what do we say, Pixel Quest. Okay, so Pixel Quest, that's our store name. Then down here in the bottom right, I'm gonna hit continue 
and it's gonna allow us to create products that'll be available for sale in our store. So my plan is to use a combination of graphics from places like Creative Fabrica, which you can join for only $3.99 a month, get access instantly to a ton of graphics. Here I just did a basic search for 8-bit. I love the game over graphic here, great place to start. Uh, as well as just mixing it up with Google AI Studio. If you guys didn't know, you can just like drag and drop a graphic in here. So I've got some 8-bit cherries there, remind me of like an old vintage arcade game. And I can just say, design additional, I don't know why I had caps lock on, <laughs> additional 8-bit themed fruit. And I'll hit run. And I'll bet you anything, in just seconds, it'll design additional fruits in the 8-bit uh, theme other than cherries. And boom, just like that, guys, we have nine uh, fruit. We've got a banana, strawberry, lime, grapes, blueberries, orange, lemon, apple. Uh, and we can download and use these in our designs. I mean, how cool is that? Now, Printify has hundreds of products in their catalog. If you don't know how to get to the catalog, you just click on the navigation where it says catalog. And it actually opens up all of the subcategories as well. But if you just click catalog, you can see all of the categories here. Now, I recommend keeping it simple. T-shirts are the best-selling print-on-demand product, and the Gildan 5000, to me, is the best combination of wearability, a tried-and-true classic, it's unisex, and it's got a great profit margin, which means you don't have to charge a lot. You can also give your um, customers a great deal by offering discounts by having a product like the Gildan 5000 with a great base cost. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use Printify's choice, which is the default, and hit Start Designing. Uh, there's plenty of other products you could explore to sell, including other apparel. Like in the previous store that I launched, I did custom socks, and I thought that was a great idea, but in this case, I want to keep it simple with t-shirt. Next, I'm going to go to my library where I uploaded our 8-bit fruit right here. So I'm going to resize it some, and I think it looks great just like that. The next thing I need to do is I can go to select variants in the top right, and I can select all of the different colors that we want to make available in our store, so white is a great place to start, and that's default. How about the color black as well? How about red? I think some of those assets might actually bleed into the red color, so maybe we undo that. Uh, yellow haze, that actually looks pretty natural against there. Uh, lime, I think that looks good. Maybe a, I want like a deeper blue. None. Neon blue or royal blue, I think royal blue's a classic as well. Even light pink. I mean, these graphics work really well against a ton of different uh, backdrop colors, and maybe navy as well, that's also a classic color. Check this out. The next thing I like to do is I like to hit the preview button in Printify just to make sure that my products look how I think they will. It also lets you view some of the other mockups that Printify's got available in the software. And this is all free. You don't pay extra for this. So make sure you check out some of these additional mockups uh, before you submit them to your store. Here's the Royal. I think Royal is a great color. It's eye catching, you know, especially against a light colored backdrop. The um, Juxtaposition of the two colors, I think looks great. I also wanted to make a quick note. They have all over print shirts as well. So I've got this pattern here of like an 8-bit brick wall. I'm gonna go ahead and add it and then I'm gonna hit create pattern on the right-hand side. And then don't forget to do this, hit apply to all areas. And it's gonna apply it to the front, the back, the left sleeve, the right sleeve, etc. If you don't do that, it's gonna be awkward looking. And then of course you can hit preview in the top right corner to make sure that you didn't miss anything before publishing. So there we go, looking good. I'm gonna save the product. Now let's come back to our Everbee store. In the bottom right corner, we haven't finished setting it up yet. I'm gonna hit next. Now we have the ability to customize things like the color scheme. You can click and see it apply in real time. Pretty cool. Uh, also, you can change the fonts. I like the font that it selected automatically though. Now we're on the back end dashboard to set up our Everbee store. You can see it has a setup guide. So first we need to add a product. You can click add products here. And you have the ability to manually create a product using their backend user interface. Only an admin sees this, by the way. Your users see the front end of the site, which I'll show you in just a second. But because we're gonna use Printify, I'm gonna go over here to apps. I'm gonna click that. And then I'm gonna go to the app market. And we're gonna go ahead and install Printify. Boom, one click and we've already installed. Hit approve. Now we just connect it to our Printify account. We'll hit allow. And you guys are seeing in real time, no editing, just how easy this is to do. And now in the top right corner, I'm gonna go ahead where it says all stores, I'm gonna select Pixel Quest because that is the pop-up shop that we just set up in Printify. And boom, you can see the t-shirts that I created. I did create some of them off camera, but I'm gonna go ahead and select all five of these t-shirts and then hit publish to store. Guys, 
I know I've got to be blowing some minds here at how easy this is. We just brought all of these over to Everbee store and if they sell, they're getting automatically fulfilled by Printify. It is that simple. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do, go back to our dashboard here. You can see it's got our ad first product checked off. Now I'm not going to set up Stripe in this video, but that is a relatively straightforward process and it costs $0 to start a Stripe account. That's who's going to process payments like credit cards so that we can accept payment from the end users and actually get those sales, right? Now you can see this is what our store currently looks like. This was all generated by Everbee Stores AI. But what I'm going to do is go into the designer, which you can find on the primary navigation in Everbee Stores admin backend. And what I did is I removed the video and I uploaded a banner image that I had Google AI Studio with Nano Banana create for us here. I asked it to show some happy people wearing 8-bit retro arcade game inspired designs and then I uploaded some of those designs for it to kind of get a gist of what I was looking for and it came up with this image which I think is perfect so I uploaded it here in the admin back end in the designer section. Uh, you can do things like change the image fit, uh, the position basically this is all stuff I used to do as a front end web developer back in the day by the way. You can see I can change the text if I want to maybe I'll just make it bold but that was all generated by Everbee's AI. Uh, in terms of the aesthetic, one thing I might want to do is actually flip the color to white so it's easier to see. Um, and then down here, Nostalgic Adventure Awaits. I'm going to do the same thing there as well. Uh, or maybe even a light gray just so that it's a little bit off, not the exact same as the heading. Uh, and then it says Start Playing Now and it's got a button color there. And that's all generated from the theme that we selected when we initially set up the store. So I'll leave that as is. And then what I'm going to do is just go ahead and hit Publish. Now if we come back here to the main website page and I hit refresh. We should not see the video and we should see our banner image. Perfect, I love that. We scroll down, what do you know? We've got our products here as well. Uh, I didn't really mess with the pricing so the all over shirt default price was $42, a little bit high, I might bring that down. Uh, but you can see the additional t-shirts that we designed here in Printify using graphics from Nano Banana. Uh, pretty, pretty awesome, I, I mean I love the color scheme here. The game over 8-bit graphics think that's perfect. Uh, and once you integrate Stripe, guys, these can be purchased right away. The cool thing is Everbee Store is handling a lot of the legwork that you might otherwise have to do to launch an online store, uh, essentially right out of the box. They're making this so that it is quick, easy, and efficient for us to launch an online brand. In addition to that, when you launch the site for the first time, you see an email pop up by default. Now we can customize this pop-up on the back end, but it's amazing that they do that for us straight away because capturing an email address and establishing a rapport, a touch point with your audience is a great way to increase your sales. Speaking of email, in the back end of Everbee, you can go to marketing and then click email. And here you can use Everbee email, a full-fledged email system where you can import subscribers, send out email blasts. They also set up email automations for you, including a welcome series for new subscribers, order updates for customers that made a purchase, abandoned cart and abandoned checkout series, account support. They even have emails for subscriptions because they also support subscriptions, even though I didn't intend for uh, Pixel Quest, the, the website we designed in this video, to use that. So I wanted to make you guys aware, Everbee Store is an incredible value. I mean, if you've never looked at email software alone, it is very expensive, depending on the number of subscribers you have. And you're just getting that as an extra uh, added benefit when you launch your first Everbee Store. So I would really recommend just check it out. You saw how simple it was to launch a store in this video. If you're feeling inspired, of course, I'll also drop links to everything I used in the description below between Everbee, Printify, Creative Fab Fabrica for graphics, and of course, Nano Banana with Google's AI. So check that out, guys. Thank you for watching till the end. Please hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you soon with another new video.